Andrew Ellis, that is. Yeah. Uh, Kamani, it seems like you've been a regular at just about every Arkansas sporting event possible since you got <laughs> on campus. So uh, I was just wondering what that process has been like for you and now how, is, how exciting is it to kind of get to be a part of it as a player now? Yeah, I mean, you know, sitting out, I had a lot of free time on my hands outside the gym. Like, if I wasn't working out, pretty much I was just at home. So uh, uh, what better idea to check out some of the teams and, you know, show my support and, like, you know, really show what it means to be Arkansas Razorback. So uh, I've had pretty good fun time uh, doing that. And uh, Tuesday, I'm super excited about it. You know, I've been sitting out for almost probably, like, around a year or so. So... Man, I just I, I couldn't even put it in words how excited I am to step on the court and, you know, finally, like, be a part of what it is to be an Arkansas Razorback and, you know, represent. And also, uh, what have you seen from Chance Moore lately? You know, it must be tough for him being the only freshman on the team. So just kind of what uh, have you seen with his progress and how he's settling in? Yeah, I mean, you know, with this team, it's super tough because, you know, uh, he's around a lot of older guys and, you know, being the only freshman. I remember when I was a freshman, you usually come in with like a – a good group where, you know, um, you kind of can relate to the same freshman problems. So um, I think his progress is good. His energy and practice lately has been pretty good. And uh, I think he's coming along well. Bob? Hey, hey Kamai, how you doing? Um, I'm doing good, how are you? Uh, which wrist was it you, you, you heard? I should have paid more attention to the cast, I guess. Which one was it? No, nah, yeah, it was my left wrist. Okay, and you're right-handed, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm right-handed, so okay. we all do it. Yeah. <laughs> um, Eric said you got the cast off, but you're wearing, I guess, a wrap or something. I just wondered, how's the wrist feeling? How's practice going for you this week? How, how do you feel headed, you know, getting in the, the game pretty quick here now? Yeah, I have a, like a brace on it just for like safety caution measures, but the wrist is feeling good. I'll, I'll be ready to go for sure. Did you feel like, I mean, how's your conditioning? Because I guess you had, well, Eric actually said you were pretty good because you, you could cardiovascular train, you know, yeah. <laughs> like, feeling pretty like still good conditioning and all that. Yeah, my condition as well. Uh, Dave Rich, you know, I was with him all last year and uh, he was whipping me into shape and, you know, the, uh, this little time off was was the same. I've been uh, – I think I ran every step in Bud Walton, so uh, I'm, I'm definitely in pretty good shape for sure. Okay, well, that's a lot of steps. And then I got one more. Um, have you been – maybe with your wrist you haven't been able to do this. Have you been able to take part in any of the, the, the working out for the – I guess the pregame show you guys are going to put on with sort of the ball handling stuff? Oh, uh, no, nah, yeah, yeah. I've been doing that. I've been doing that for sure. Can, can you juggle or spin or what What do you do? And hey, all I got – you got to – you got to – get to the seats early and then you can find out you feel me find out what all i can do and what all the team could do so if you want to know you know hey you gotta come early you feel me um so how cool do you think that is because it sounds kind of like some of the globe trotters would do or something you know <laughs> nah it's been uh it's been really cool it's been really fun you know like you can you never know what you expect with coach must so it's just like a, another one of those crazy things that he brought to us and we just all thought it was cool and fun and uh we can't wait to uh show you guys okay thanks of course much kamani have you ever had a time like last year where you had an extended period of time where you haven't played before and, and what was that like no nah, i've never um i've never you know I've never sat out. Um, I've never really been injured to the point where I would have to miss like that long or a period of time. So uh, last year, yeah, it was like pretty tough, but you know, I had a lot of friends that kind of helped me through it. Um, and, you know, there's always light at the end of the tunnel and uh, we finally reached the light. So I'm most definitely ready for Tuesday. And when I asked Coach Muss about you yesterday, the first thing he said was that you're a really good rebounder. Um, how tough was that on, on this past Saturday against North Texas, having to sit on the sideline and watch your teammates get out rebounded the way they did? And how much do you think you could help that aspect of the game when you're on the court? Yeah, I mean, these exhibition games, they were like kind of having PTSD from last year, just like sitting, sitting down and just knowing like I could help. So it was kind of tough, but uh, – I pride myself on rebounding and uh, doing whatever the team needs me to do to win. So uh, that's just one aspect of my game that can help the team. So uh, I look forward to helping my team Tuesday. Scotty. Yeah, Kamani, just a, a follow up on your wrist. Do you remember how you injured it? Or, I mean, was it kind of a, a freak deal? 
Uh, I actually, the funniest thing is I don't even honestly know how I did it. Apparently I did it like a month or two ago. Usually when like stuff bothers me, I kind of like shoo it away and stuff like that, but this just wasn't going away. So um, I told Matt and Matt did a pretty good job of just making sure that I'd be ready uh, when time comes for the season. So uh, credit to Matt for that. And what would you say were some of the big things that you learned while sitting out last year that maybe you can apply to, you know, when you finally hit the floor this year? Um, I think one of the biggest things I learned from sitting out last year was uh, just, you know, watching last year's team and, and the transformation. Because when I first came, I remember we had two big losses to Alabama and LSU and uh the team morale was kind of down and stuff like that. I think my first couple of practice was the uh, famous weight vest practice. So I didn't, I didn't know what I was kind of walking myself into, but just to see them flip that switch and uh, how they did it kind of really stuck with me. And uh, I think with this team, that that's really important. Like we have guys that was from last year's team and, and a lot of new guys and I see their mentality and, and what we all want to do this year. So I think, uh, I know me, Vo, and Jay Will, and all those guys from last year, we definitely want to get back to where we was last year. We know how to do it. It's just all about uh, buying into what the coaches say and uh, implement, implementing the plan. So that's kind of what I learned from last year, the biggest thing. And the last thing for me, just what do you see in Trey Wade? What do you like about his game and, and what he can bring to the lineup? Man, I mean, I think when you talk about Trey, like, you can only say but so much, but when you see him out on the floor and you see the difference he makes, like the fans are going to love him. I know we love him here as a team. He's just like that, that energy guy that, that, that do it all. Like he's going to do whatever you need to do to win. So uh, I can't just say much about Trey. He's like our uncle on the team. He's like the OG. So uh, we love Trey. We love playing with Trey. He's a great addition to the team for sure. Bob? Oh, sorry, Kyle. Go ahead, Kyle. I can't hear you, Kyle. I'm having trouble hearing you, Kyle. Go ahead, Bob. Okay. Uh, uh, Kamani, you know, even in these exhibition games, you guys didn't have your full complimentary of players. You know, Trey missed the first one, and I guess you missed both of them. Yeah, I guess you're finally going to have everybody available, at least for Tuesday night, but – you guys still are kind of learning about each other and playing together. Yeah. Just what, what are you expecting Tuesday night? I mean, Tuesday, I mean, these practices, they've been high energy. We've been going uh, pretty long practices. Uh, I think Coach Must has done a good job testing us uh, mentally strength wise and, and our physicality, our energy has been real up. I mean, we kind of heard the noise from the exhibition games from everybody. So I think Tuesday, we're just going to try to shut up the noise and just show what we can do at, at full capacity. We know who we are as a team. So uh, Tuesday, we just got to go out and prove it. You still feel like you guys have a pretty high ceiling though, because, you know, a lot of talent, but that, you guys aren't used to playing together much still. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's a journey. I mean, I, I don't, if you could tell me what team just like throughout the whole season can go perfect and, and have no mistakes or no bumps in the road, uh, you know, please tell me, but I mean, it's a journey, you know, there's going to be ups, there's going to be downs. Hey, uh, as long as we're all bought in and we just listen to coach must, I'm pretty sure we'll do fine. Just one, one more. Um, did you guys know that this pregame stuff you guys are working on? That's actually from Eric's dad doing that. Like, you know, in the seventies, I mean, did, yeah, did you he, showed, he showed us the video and uh, <laughs> he showed us the video of it and it was like pretty cool. How uh, all like the fans were reacting to it and everything. So, that was, that was pretty cool, pretty neat. Was it fun to see some old school, like, I don't know, 50-year-old video or whatever? Yeah, I mean, I didn't even, like, you know, like, us, I'm like a 2000 baby. So, like, when I see stuff like that, I don't even think, like, there's a connection to it. So, um, for, like, Coach Mustard's dad to be, like, the one doing it, you know, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Speaking hey. of the devil. <laughs> 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 okay yeah it's they actually had we actually had cameras back then you know <laughs> thank, thank, thank you kyle you'll try again all right uh i guess kyle still has some microphone control so uh we'll switch out with the commodity and bring in trey